Jimmy Garoppolo dropped 17 points in the same defense. Trey only got 10. Niner bot here trying to start, trying to start crap. <laughs> We trying to say Niner bot. Ahmed Ahmed Ali says, "Hey, the whole tribe is here. Sup guys, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ricky what's says, up? Hey guys, what's your opinion on how banana hands mismanage team personnel? I hate banana. Everything. Sermon removing everything from Niners from his IG, not playing. Yeah, what do you think about that? Heard. Quick thoughts on heard. Uh, he's going to be, a, he's going to, he need, they need to worry, you know, he's going to be a guy for the opponents to worry about uh, in 2023. Yeah. The CX are already scheming up ways to stop him. <laughs> I think, I think some, some XFL defense coordinators scheming up ways to stop him. <laughs> the, I'll say this, the sermon thing is, is yeah. a, kind of a big deal to me. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, you've got to us, like social media is one thing, right? We grew up in a different era, but, for these kids, man, social media is everything. And so when they remove things, it, they're sending a message. It's a subliminal message, but he's not happy. And that's kind of crazy to think about a rookie in his first year is not happy already with his his utilization or lack of and doesn't feel like he's a part of the team. That's what that tells me. Steven Andrews says, notice Jimmy didn't go up to Ayuk after his TD snag just like last week. I didn't notice that. I should have because I'm the one that started that last week. Uh, Ayuk just walked away from Jimmy after Jimmy's touchdown run. Did you see that? I didn't see this. I didn't see this. I didn't pay attention to it. Yeah. Too bad because I love gossip. Jody says, I'm watching Fields. He's making a ton of rookie mistakes, but he's learning and getting better. Did we, did we learn anything yesterday from watching Jordan Love? Why won't we play Trey Lance? Because the 49ers have a very real possibility of going nine and eight with Jimmy Garoppolo, and you can't just give up on that. I mean, you got to see this through. I'm just saying. Look, yeah. look the, the, no, the reason that this is tough is because Jimmy hasn't given the Niners an opportunity to bench him yet. Like, he's been fine, fine plus. And if Kyle wants to make a decision, then that's on him. But Jimmy's not making this easy on Kyle. I think that's what's going on right now. And Kyle's kind of petrified of making a decision maybe he's lost the locker room maybe he feels like it's out of his hands i don't know mm -hmm. was that the most embarrassing loss of the shanahan era what do you guys think it was that or the miami game I, i'm gonna go with miami yesterday. Was embarrassing yeah, yeah. The, the miami game it's almost like, like i feel like a lot of that could have been prevented why did you start brian allen like there's there were other there were other options that so. was the brian allen game it's famous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> Brian Allen game. The Brian Allen game. This was the Colt McCoy game, though. I think this one's this one is is more embarrassing from the standpoint that uh, look, 49er fans were, were debating throughout the week whether or not winning this game was going to mean anything because yeah. you're you're going to be Thank beating you. Colt McCoy. Thank you. So I think this Thank one's you. more embarrassing from that standpoint. That's a good point. Eight and twenty two his record was coming into the game. And he looked like he looked phenomenal. He was 22 of 26, guys. He had four incomplete passes in the whole game. Wow. Wow. Hey, but, Je but Jack, did Jed York leave this game and drive, I'd like to know. drive I had, the wrong I was direction? I wrote that story. I, I wish I could find out. <laughs> Thank you all for spreading awareness regarding the current state of the Niners. Until us fans take a stand against this current administration, this team will continue to, to be incompetent. Enough is enough. We deserve better. Well, none of us gave the Niners any money on Sunday, which that's a start. Yeah. Jack and I go to get to watch the game for free, so we're cheating. But and got paid to cover it. That's like yeah, stealing it's, money. It's the way to do it. It's it's really nice. I think the Armstead penalty on the sack was a bad call, and I think that messed us up. Az got the ball back and scored. Um, I, I think you're seeing that throughout the NFL is the all these terrible, the, all the terrible calls. So I think I think it evens out across the league because eventually you're going to get a call that's a bad call. And nah, the refs have it in for the Niners. I'm sorry. You didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not personal. I'm a defensive guy. I think it's I think it's total trash, but it's yeah. it's the way of the league, but I do think it evens out across you know, you're going to get bad calls from the, the uh from officials from the other team defense and then it all evens out. This team depended on Kinlaw's health to stop the run. Six of our eight picks did not play yesterday and the two that did were our last two picks. Real quick, I don't care. Kinlaw got hurt, change of defense. This reminds me of the Chip Kelly year. They wanted to run a classic 3-4. Their nose tackle got hurt. It was either Glenn Dorsey or Ian Williams, and they didn't adjust. They just went into the season with Mike Purcell and gave up like 200 yards between the tackles every game. 
you got you can't run the wide nine without a stud three technique, and you don't have it. So adjust. And what what they would do, Jack. Remember, if correct me if I'm wrong. But when Jim O'Neill would, would give up like 250 on the ground, you'd be like, what happened, Jim? He'd be like, well, if you take away four runs, we actually did really good against the run all the time. <laughs> Kyle said that today on the conference. <laughs> he did that today. Take away three <laughs> runs, we did – oh, my God, that's terrible, Kyle. Don't start talking like Jim O'Neill. It's not good. <laughs> you can't take away those runs. You can't. I want to talk about this just real, real quick. It's because – and I'm going to – I'm gonna, I, I'd like to dive deeper uh, later on this week sometime uh, about this, but – it's not we're, – we're focusing too much on the defensive line, and it's not so much the defensive line as it is the, the backers aren't filling fast enough and they're not filling the right gaps. Like we're concentrating on the def- – yeah, Kinlaw helps, and should the, should the defensive line take on, do a better job taking on double teams and maybe defeating some of those those uh, blocks and getting the back from Yeah, but it's primarily the backers. Hmm. It's the backers and then some sometimes secondary because the, se- the secondary does have – some inside gap responsibility, yeah. but I like that's Fred Warner, but he's much slower to trigger than uh, Navarro Bowman and Patrick. The the entire linebacker core is true. slow to trigger. It's true. Greg yes. says Jesse's the man. When do you think Kyle gets fired? <laughs> We're going to talk about that. But thank you very much.